good morning guys and welcome to my youtube channel which actually has no name yet so uh, this is my first attempt to do something like that and post my uh, videos on youtube uh, and uh, yeah uh, while i'm uh, warming up my car uh, i'm just sitting here you know it's a chilly morning a chilly saturday morning early morning and uh we're gonna do some photography um i'm gonna go out i'm based in colorado that's where my my home is um uh, and um i'm just gonna try to take you along with my journey with my photography journey you know and a lot of times i venture out on my own and um, i decided to take you along for a ride you know and see um how i do things you know and then what i like to photograph and uh so uh this video is gonna be more like uh just a walk in a park let's say that but we're actually gonna head out to a state park here in colorado which is called bar lake and uh we'll see what we can get it's a quiet season now um and uh, but I hope uh, maybe I can take some uh, pictures of eagles uh, or or for that matter any other bird you know I'm, I'm into birding and uh, I like to photograph birds and stuff and whatnot but uh, we'll see there's actually no goal today uh, specifically what I want to photograph or whatnot uh, it's basically my goal to get out and uh, being outdoors and take you along um, and see uh, and then show you show you the world around uh, me you know and uh, yeah so um, I think my car is pretty much ready to go so uh, uh, let's go for a ride so guys while I'm driving to Bar Lake uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what kind of gear I have with me today and um, and yeah so um, today uh, the video what I'm recording right now it's recorded on the GoPro 9 um, which I actually got only a couple days ago I don't know it all ins and outs yet hopefully it turns out alright and um, and that's that's gonna be my main main equipment for video I know it's not ideal but uh, it's very compact and um, I don't want to you know um, grab another camera and um, just record with that so GoPro will have to do it and uh, yeah so far you know I messed around a little bit with it and um, I, I really like it you know So yeah, uh, as far as my camera gear goes, um, I own two cameras. One is my uh, Nikon 7500 uh, crop sensor camera, which I left at home. And uh, but I did bring uh, with me my main camera, which is a Nikon uh, D850. Um, totally love that camera. Um, it does everything I need. It's a little bit harder when you go birding with 850. You kind of have to get pretty close to the subject. Uh, crop camera for that reason uh, is a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, it depends. It depends in what situation you are in. Uh, with the 80, you can heavily uh, crop in post processing, you know, and still get a, an awesome uh, image for whatever you're taking. The crop sensor, you know, my 600 millimeter uh, lens turns into something much bigger. So, but yeah, today's choice is a uh, D850. And uh, as far as the lenses go, I did take my uh, main uh, birding uh, lens with me, which is a Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens. And uh, my other lenses is me I took Sigma 35 millimeter prime lens well, maybe I can get some landscape uh, picture or whatnot 
and um, I also took with me a Nikon a Nikkor a 105 millimeter prime which is a macro lens and that's kind of what I'm leaning towards this morning you know like it's a quiet season I mean there's no flowers no nothing you know but maybe I can find something something interesting to take a picture and uh, come on guy and uh, so we'll see what comes out of it you know I do not have everything is gonna be handheld I left my I left my uh, tripod at home because I simply don't want to log it with me I have a nice Bendro carbon fiber tripod but but not today so everything's gonna be handheld and um, yeah we'll see what we can get look at that sunrise guys that's awesome usually here in Colorado you know you, you get these sunny days you know there's no clouds in the sky so uh, it's usually those are kind of like boring mornings for photography in general especially for the guys who take like the landscape photography or whatnot um, but yeah this is this is gorgeous uh, sun's coming up uh, it's very very beautiful Pheasants, did you see that? So we're turning into the bar lake. I've never seen them here before. Man, that was exciting. Good God. I wish I would have had my camera. Maybe you saw it. But uh, here we are. Um, this is the entrance to Bar Lake. Uh, man, I got excited about this. I think those are called pheasants or something like that but they're they're beautiful those are beautiful birds never seen them here before um, but yeah so this is the little road leading into the parking lot so here's the the little station where you gotta buy your parking uh, your park pass uh, nobody's in attendance this early in the morning I have a Colorado State Park Pass so I don't need to purchase nothing, you know, which actually saves me a lot of money because every time you you come in or out, I think it was eight dollars, if not a mistake, and don't quote me on that, but it was quite expensive. So I figured if I pay eighty dollars uh, per year and I can go in any uh, state park for free, uh, that is a no-brainer to me. And for as many times as I come here um, and like last year and, and this year so far you know I haven't done it because of the obvious reasons COVID and all that stuff but um, like in 2019 I was here almost every week but yeah if, if you guys like outdoors and you like to go to your state parks or whatnot you know it's easier to buy a park pass and not to worry about it you know you just you just go you know but uh, here it is, the little road coming in. There's actually a teepee, if you can see it. And uh, so there are, there are like, the park is divided in two sections, basically. If you hang to your left, you know, that's where all the birding is and stuff like that. And so there's no fishing allowed or nothing like that. On the right-hand side, if you go, there's a fishing, fishing, uh, uh, fishing places, you know, the boat ramp and and stuff like that. So I usually don't go towards there, but there's like a, an osprey nest if you go that way. But uh, I always go where 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 people who like hiking and stuff like that. And actually, like this morning, you can see there's quite a few cars already, and it's freaking cold now. It's dropped to minus 11. Uh, so <laughs> it's a cold one. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised how many, how many cars are here. And hey, that might be my buddy actually. 
here. Let me check it out. That blue blue car. Uh, no, it's not. That's okay. But here we are. Uh, I'm just gonna park here. I'll gear up, and uh, we'll talk to you. And I'm on the trail. We are on the trail, and we're heading in. Uh, one of the trails. Uh, it's a wonderful morning. Wonderful morning. I got my my GoPro going. Here's my camera. Nikon D850, and I can see a hawk in the background flying. There's a bar lake. I mean, there's not much water in it since we had a, such a drought and water has retrieved in. So um, it's, it's, it's unusual year. Oh, past summer we had such a drought and uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> the lake was, uh, pretty much dry usually there's a lot of shorebirds a lot of geese around here and uh, but here I'll show you um, right here if you guys can see it I mean there's quite a quite a few geese out there there's actually lots of them but what a beautiful morning and this is this is what I like to do on my weekends just to walk around snap some pictures and uh yeah very excited for this morning what a what a beautiful morning here today in colorado so this is a trail i'm gonna walk in so cool nice and crisp crisp morning there's one more look at all the geese over there nothing is going on they're just chilling they're just chilling so yeah I like the clouds look at the mountains on the west side so you can see there's barely any snow up in the mountains and that is so unusual for for January so what a bizarre year but hopefully 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 we'll turn around and uh, but yeah we had a, such a bad bad summer it was hot as hell and all the all the wildfires I mean it, the state was burning down literally and it started I don't I can't remember like in um, August and it burned till I don't know October or whatever whenever we got the first snow a little bit up in the mountains but yeah so uh, we're heading in and I hope to walk to the last blind uh, which is about three and a half miles from here and on the way I will make a pit stops you know and see what we can get you know uh, i don't i don't expect much from today but i just like to be outdoors and and uh, just enjoy you know uh, the time hello guys there was an eagle flying over where all the geese were and they all took off <laughs> look how many of them are over there just laid, uh, they're just landing back uh, on the water. Wow, kind of missed that shot when they all took off. The geese. Let's see if we can, if we can get closer to them.
look how many of them are out here. There's some ducks. Oh wow. Pretty soon they're gonna spot me. Stay right here. I'll try to take some pictures. Hopefully I can get a good one. Yeah, let me put the camera down. The GoPro down and uh, see if I can snap a picture. Here is a magpie. I mean, the, there's a lot of them over here. And they're just chilling. Some of the people think that they are annoying birds. You know, they kind of are, but when you, yeah, uh huh. But they're cool. They're cool, in my opinion. They're cool. Okay, here you go. Oh, what a chilly, chilly, chilly morning. It's kind of... Oh, here we are. Just chugging along the lake. And see, usually farther back oh, like forward there's usually uh, I can see some eagles sitting on the treetops and uh, you know, maybe we can snag some pictures of them but yeah it's awesome I wish it could be a little bit warmer but hey, it's just great to be outdoors. And uh, this is probably my my favorite spot where I like to come to our lake. I also go to like Rocky Mountain Arsenal. That's a cool place. You can see bison there and, and all kinds of birds. And that's actually where I got a great picture of the Swizen's hawk a few years back. I was surprised how close he let me get to him. But, uh, yeah, they're now gone somewhere in South America. Light conditions are just perfect this morning. Great for photography. European starling making noise. Yeah. Just wanted to show you. Again, it looks like it's a geese morning. <laughs> That's all I see so far. Look at all of them. It's incredible. Look all the shoreline, how many of them are out there. It's crazy. There's so many of them. Yeah, geese kind of morning, let's call it. In the distance, those trees, that's where the eagles are. And you can, I can actually see them like six or seven of them sitting there, perched on the, on the trees. Oh, look at that. The geese take off. Let's see if 
going to be able to see them when they come on the other end, other side. There they go. Isn't that beautiful? Way cool. Let's just walk up here. Let's see what's going on. One time I came over here and see that tree stump, the tree, and there was a, a white pelican sitting on top of it. Now I did not have my camera ready for it, but what a shot that would have been. So, yeah. It's a quiet morning, definitely quiet morning. Well, what do you do? It's a beautiful morning though. Maybe not so much for photography for catching the birds, but overall it's uh, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, there's, there, there are the photographers, and I got their gear out. I put my mask on. Help the, my glasses. Morning. And eagles. Okay, yeah, me too. Oh, tree trees. Yeah, Up in the trees, oh, nobody's coming this way. going guys good good how you doing good I like your hat thank you yeah i wish they they could have done better yeah. you know <laughs> well what do you do well they did better than a bronco so all right all right guys have fun you too Alrighty guys, so had a quick chat with the fellow photographers. Uh, not much going on, not much. Oh, my glasses. So I'm just gonna keep walking my way to the last blind and uh, maybe catch a kingfisher or something. Now I'm here and this is a quiet, quiet part of uh, the bar lake not not many people come this far um, I just saw the bald eagle oh there it is there it is look at that see it so when you come here you have a far greater chance to snap pictures of the eagles not where the guys are standing uh, at the gazebo so I like to come here and kind of wait out you know and see what flies by so uh, yeah the rate of uh, success uh, here is, is, is much greater uh, but you never know what you're gonna get so so far it's been a nice walk. Uh, I did get a good picture. I hope uh, it's a keeper of the northern flicker I saw. I was walking and all of a sudden I saw something and um, I kind of stood around for a while, man, until I spotted him and he came out. So uh, I took a picture of him. There's some 
I don't know, there's a deer. You can kind of see, maybe you can see the butt, <laughs> the white butt. But uh, yeah, there's quite a, quite a few deer around here. And I see them quite often. But yeah, what I was gonna say again, you know, you, you have to slow down and you have to look around and uh, uh, you would be surprised when you kind of detach from the world around you and start observing stuff and you see so much wildlife around you and uh, it's just uh, like <laughs> I remember my sister was asking me and my niece like how do you get all these pictures you know like where do you see all these animals and birds and and stuff and and it's true you know when you're not paying attention and you're just uh, kind of just walking you know and not looking around and slowing your pace down and and look for stuff you're not gonna see anything and so you really have to you really have to slow down and look around. And the minute you do that, great things happen around you. Uh, oh, there are the geese fly over. Look at them. There they go. It's priceless. So yeah, when you guys go out, especially I'm talking to, to the beginner and people who are just getting into photography, just slow down. And uh, it's good to like pick a spot somewhere, you know. And uh, I like to stay like in a shady area, like under the tree or whatever, and uh, pick a spot and just stay quiet get your camera ready stay quiet and uh, good things will happen uh, some of you may wonder like why do i have the blurry pictures you know like i, I go and do when i set my camera up and uh, and the pictures come out blurry so in my opinion and many others uh, when you do like uh, uh, wildlife photography in general so whatever your it's all about the shutter speed you know uh, and don't be afraid to crank your eyes so up uh, because um, now the cameras they are very capable of of uh, taking a good shot on high uh, high uh, shutter speed so usually what i do i almost never step down below one two thousands of a second and and i try to stay even higher because that will eliminate that motion blur and you will get a way sharper pictures than if you would uh, um, uh, shoot your your pictures with a low uh, ISO and a lower shutter speed. Sure, you know the shutter, sp uh, the ISO impact your photography or your quality of the picture. But um, I mean, like I said, nowadays the cameras are so much more advanced, and there's all kinds of denoise programs, and uh, in post processing, you can fix all of that. It's not that bad. So shutter speed try to shoot not lower than one one six thousandth of the second and uh, just keep that shutter speed up and uh, I limit my camera basically to 6400 of the second you know and when it gets up there it was a D850 that's my tops uh, on the other cameras, you know, I can only speak about Nikon because that's what I have and I, I love that camera. But the Canon and 
and then all the mirrorless cameras I I bet you that it's all the same so don't be afraid don't be afraid uh, to crank up your ISO and uh, shutter speed for that matter there are the geese flying again so we're we're now on our way to the last blind and I'll check back in when we get there coming up to the last blind here um, there's some starlings but this is one of the places I like to I like to come uh, in the summertime I see a lot of kingfisher around here and usually you can hear them when you when you when you come to this spot there's a little creek and uh, so yeah there's usually you can hear them they make pretty loud noise and if you know what what kind of noises they're make making uh, uh, be sure if you stick around you know then you can you can spot them they're hard to stop uh, uh, hard to take pictures of them they're a very shy bird there's this damn thing and it basically fills the fills the ball lake there's a, there's a shot of the water with that you don't want to fall in there because I don't think you could get out and a few years back on this path I uh, spotted there was a uh, red tail hawk and uh, I think he went for a snake or something like that and so he was on the ground and uh, I was fortunate enough to to snap a great series of him before he flew away but so this is about like this this uh, path this last blind is about three and a half miles away from where we started out this morning and uh, this is the one place it's a hit and miss right here because uh, you can come over here and you may not get a single single picture because there's nothing's gonna be out here but it could be a quite opposite because it's a such a uh, remote place I would say there's a last blind uh, it's just a remote place and not a lot of people travel here walk here so uh, uh, you may never know what you're gonna get here or whatnot but it's pretty cool oh I can see the Eagles so we may get lucky they're flying around so when we get there we're just gonna have to stay quiet and uh, and see what we can get so if we're lucky uh, then I'll be able to take some photos There's a, quite a few raccoons around here too. One time this one guy, he came out and he literally walked like 20 feet from me and he didn't even see me. <laughs> so, it's funny how sometimes wildlife, you know, they are so into what they're doing and they do not even see around you. So, all right, let me get there and then I'll sell down and uh, I'm just gonna wait. It's all about the waiting game. So, I'm now in my blind, nothing much is going on. So, uh, I'm gonna show you, quickly show you like what my camera is 
uh, all about. So here it is. It's a Sigma 150 to 600. And uh, it's a contemporary lens. Uh, it's not weather sealed, but uh, it's, 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 it's quite heavy, but not as heavy as the sports version is. My buddy owns the sports version, which is completely weather sealed. And uh, but as far as the performance goes, yes, the uh, Sigma does say that that uh, lens is better, and I don't, I don't say that it's not. But comparing the pictures, what my buddy is taking, and 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 what I can get out of this one, it's on par with it, you know. And at some times, it's even better. You know, and a lot of times I put it on a tripod, but uh, lately, you know, um, I feel like I can capture the same quality pictures just going handheld. Uh, again, shutter speed, shutter speed up, and, um, and 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 you will get a good pictures. Uh, so, camera is Nikon uh, D850 great camera uh, bought it a few uh, like a year and a half ago and um, I do not regret making that purchase well, I can hear some noise couldn't tell what it was but so yeah for today um, this is what I got on me right now and then I have my camera bag I got the uh, uh, macro lens Nikkor uh, 105 millimeter one. I'll, I'll pop it on later on. And uh, and I also have the Sigma 35 millimeter prime, which is an excellent lens. I just got it a couple weeks ago. Haven't really tested it out yet, but um, I just grabbed it with me today, so I can hear all these geese making noise. But, but yeah, so that's what I got here. And um, I'll sit around here, see what I can get. No high expectations whatsoever. Uh, but it's just nice to be out here. You know? Again, it's all about getting outdoors um, and enjoy the weather. Uh, it's warming up now. It's nowhere near as uh, cold as it was this morning but uh, yeah it's a beautiful day quiet very quiet love it I just hope some birds will show up here soon if not um, that's fine as well then we're gonna switch uh, out to the macro lens and uh, again there is not much to take pictures of but I can find something um, and hopefully I'll be able to show it to you all, so let's sit and wait now. All right, guys, so here we are on our way out. And uh, like I said before, uh, patience is the key to success. So from the last time, you know, I did the little small recording here. It's past like two hours, uh, if not a little more. So I was out there and literally nothing was going on. So besides that I saw some eagles in distance, 
and whatnot, you know, there was not an opportunity to take uh, a good shots of them. So uh, then these two gentlemen came over. Uh, one was shooting the cannon, uh, the other one uh, was an Nikon Z7. And it's like uh, they dragged all the eagles out of the woods. And uh, I'm not gonna kid you, there were like over 30 of them, one after another, just coming out. And uh, I took like, I just looked at my camera and I got about 600, if not more raw pictures taken. And uh, for the clue, from the quick lens, I know that there's gonna be keepers. There are gonna be keepers in there. So what a successful day, you know, it started out slow. And by me sitting there for an hour and with, without anything going on, and then all of a sudden uh they all came out and they're flying around you know they're kind of high up in the sky now but well uh, my uh, my rough estimate was is like 30 to 40 at least and uh they just flew right right towards me and and above me and i got a i got a great shot for you um, I'm gonna head home now it's a three and a half mile walk out and uh, I'm gonna get home now I'm gonna try to figure out how to put all this video together and uh, do some post processing and go from there so with that being said I got uh, a three and a half mile walk back to my car and I'm gonna leave you guys here and uh, since this is a brand new YouTube channel I would really appreciate if you would subscribe and pre press that like button if you like the video There's nothing fancy it's just me uh, talking and uh, taking some pictures Please subscribe, uh, like, press the like button, and then uh, there's this little bell button you'll find if you press on that, uh, that's going to let you know when the next video will, will come out, and uh, you can follow me. Leave in the comments, ask me questions, I'll be, gladly to, how I'll be glad to answer all the questions you may have and the suggestions or whatnot well that's all for now um hope to see you all uh soon and um, i may go to a different spot different location so for now so long uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, see you next time have a great day bye